what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i got something a little special we're going to be putting new toilets in the rig because um i'm a giant and i don't like the smaller toilets and second reason and most important reason is one of my toilets started leaking around the base and the other one the little ball seals messed up and it don't hold water too well so uh priced out how much the seal kits were at camping world and good grief it was like a hundred bucks just for the seal kit at that point you might as well replace the toilet with something more comfortable and something brand new that you won't have to worry about for a while so let me show you guys what i got behind me so i went out and picked up two dometic model 320 white toilets and they're basically your residential size commode porcelain queen whatever you want to call them it's very nice it's got a wooden seat real real big it's got the uh lip in the back or underneath just like a residential and uh yeah gravity flush so i'm gonna do one off camera and then while my gopro's charging and then we're gonna do the other one on camera just to get better camera angles and whatnot of the hookups in the back but it should be a fairly simple job uh the for the packaging it was literally just sitting in here so I opened it up and pulled it out and this is what you got. It came with some plastic on there that I took off for the video's sake. But besides that, I'm going to get that other one installed and I'll catch you guys on the second one. All right, guys. So don't go and do what I did. I'm doing the one that I was going to do off camera up here in the front of the camper. And this don't fit. I unscrewed all these. I even tried moving this up as far as it would slide. But there's no way um, it needs to come forward like another inch and uh toilet don't sit flush on it so i'm gonna try this one on the other bathroom and see hopefully it fits if it does i'll make a video on it but either way i gotta go back i got an hour drive if not actually it's two hours of driving there and back to get a new toilet it's the same that was on uh right here so that it will fit so that's awesome all right, so in case this doesn't work, so I'm gonna go ahead and record it. I'm really frustrated, so I'm not even gonna wait for the GoPro to charge. I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what to do because it's so simple. Um, first off, make sure your water's off to the rig. There's a little pressure left in there, but all you gotta do is take these off, unscrew the, the bolts, the toilet lifts right out, and then you unscrew your piping back there with that little black knob, so pretty pretty simple i'm just gonna pull this one out real quick and see if the toilet that i already have open will fit here and if and i have a feeling it won't i'm knowing my luck so anyway we'll see shoo -wee. well thankfully guys this one actually fits that pulls right out and screws right in so i get to use one of the big toilets uh for the one up front i'm gonna have to go and return that one and buy a smaller smaller toilet but i do want a new toilet because that one has a bad seal on it this one was the problem child though had a bad seals in the valve here so when you would flush it it would leak so i'm really really glad this one fits in here and it's the guest bathroom so they're gonna have a nice toilet to use and this could just be my designated pooper when i go poop you know no harm no foul i'll go get that new toilet here shortly and Ah, wrap this project up. All right, I got this thing all bolted down. I am really looking forward to this, using this toilet. It fit, I don't know how, but it did. I don't have the, I guess I can go ahead and screw the water back in down here so that it doesn't drip anywhere anymore. But uh, let me get this and then I'm gonna take you guys with me back to Columbia on my hour long commute, so. It's kind of a mistake that I made. It's costing me two hours of my time. So I'll catch y'all then.
here so uh time to drive an hour back home and get this toilet put on all right so the one that wouldn't fit was a D uh, dometic model 320 and this is a dometic model 310 and it should fit with no issues bolts up One, I recommend wearing gloves. I did it first, um, but I have cleaned all of this down here, so it's not super dirty, but I still recommend the glove wearing. Alright. So they they go on there a little wobbly, but it's because it's sitting on that gasket. So once you tighten them down, it will uh, sit real firm and create that seal. So I'm gonna go get my wrench. Be right back. So I'm using a 7 sixteenths with a ratchet head on it. Um, I was using initially some adjustable wrenches, but good grief. That was tough to get to, especially down in these little corners. I think I'm just going to throw away all the towels I used today. Try to poop all over them. I don't want to poo poo on my towels. <laughs> sure when you look down in here and this is open <laughs> that you're lined up with the hole so that makes life a lot easier so I went ahead and got a new one on this one even though it was just this gasket that was bad and the reasoning is it has these where the water comes out this is my old one just had that and it was a different brand this wasn't a Dometic um, this was a that furred or whatever something like that anyways it feels cheaper it's got a plastic lid and all and as well as this one is all wood hard strong more residential style so this will help clean the bowl better and I'll have a good seal so let me get this water hooked up <laughs> up on both and maybe I should have done them one at a time because now I'm scared if I turn the water on if I have a leak or something <laughs> I got two toilets to tend to rather than one so I'm gonna go out there throw the water on oh, let me don't forget these caps throw the water on and um, run back inside and check it I'll be back with you guys after I check it so one thing I saw online that I want to uh, try to fix or maybe come up with a better solution um, basically everybody said when you flush this thing the water it's not the best it trickles around all this but kind of pours out of the back here so what I did is I'll show you what I bought excuse the mess free toilet if anybody wants it but I got for my camper anyways a water pressure regulator that I can adjust the PSI um, my camper says it's rated for 100 PSI I don't want to get anywhere close to that I want to be at about 75 but I think the regulator I have on there right now is uh, a 50 or a 55 so what I'm gonna do is gonna go throw this on there and we'll see if it makes a difference with the toilet all right so what I did actually to make a tremendous difference with this big old toilet um, now we have water pouring from everywhere instead of just trickling back here and uh, this was the regulator that I had before 
and it is for 40 to 50 psi and i will go show you guys my new regulator all right so first off disclaimer make sure your rv is rated for this kind of pressure before you do anything here mine says 100 psi max so this is the regulator i got got her sitting at right at 75 psi well away from 100 and you just up it or minus it with a screwdriver here it's pretty neat good little solution for that toilet problem this is night and day compared to what i had i mean this toilet flushes i mean it absolutely flushes can't wait to take a shower with that higher psi um i was showing you guys this in case anybody had this style of toilet but wasn't getting enough water flow um that regulator is the way to go if your rv is rated for it all right guys that wraps this one up thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed it i uh, hope you got my tips on the regulator and i don't know i hope you also learn from my mistake make measurements before you waste two hours of your day driving back to get something and returning and blah 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 so rookie mistake on my part but anyways thanks for watching big country out